all right so what is going on today too? why is my computer keep doing that all right so what is going on today youtube got a quick discussion video for you guys today now what i want to talk about is the ban list that is upcoming and what should what's going to probably happen what i think should happen and stuff like that so yeah i'm not going to do too much of an intro i guess we're going to just get straight into it now um what i want to talk about is a couple of cards that probably should get banned now to start off Grand Golem probably just needs to go. We don't even, it's just not necessary. Grand Golem is really not necessary. I don't want to see Grand Golem spam decks. I don't want to, you know, have my opponent open it. Like, Grand Golem is like $20 and it's a fucking common. I'm sorry, a freaking common. So, I mean, I, I just don't want it. I don't think anybody wants to deal with Grand Golem, you know, just summon Grand Golem and go plus 10. Like, it's not, it's not, that's not cool. Like at least, you know, at least with spirals, you have to commit something to the, you know, you have to commit something or at least with the other decks, you have to at least put something on the board. Grind to Golem, why it is easily stopped. It's just not, I mean, I don't think we should be able to, we should have to deal with that in 400 decks. There's triple Grind to Golem, triple Grind to Golem. Like it's just, it's just, it's dumb. So that should already be banned. And then another card that should be Link Slayer. What are you doing today, folks? what is going on today he said link slayer okay okay folks um i guess i mean i can't can't hate but yeah i mean he probably should add, add I mean, made that go first because uh because you can't ash this i guess so i mean or you know if he has gamma but yeah so what was i about to say uh dang it i forgot what i was saying yeah guard the golem definitely should get banned because that it's just we don't need no we we already have enough degeneracy we don't need any more second card i feel like should get banned is you ready folks double iris magician now before you hit the dislike now now think now think about it with electrum coming out we all know spirals are getting oh wait no 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 and then that, and then the master plan needs to get banned just get it out of the way um but yeah so we all know that spirals are going to get hit they're going to be pretty much dead after this list i mean we're all thinking that and then um tricksters i'll get into that later um but double iris i feel like she get banned the reason why is because it searches the trap card and the trap card really makes it you know hard to fight against pendulums because not only do they have you know their monsters and you know you're trying to fight through you know all, all the monsters they put on the board and then you're trying to get rid of scales but then you also have to worry about that trap that they search all the time and the spell that gets them any i think was it a pendulum magician you get them any magician card from their deck to the hand a pendulum like a pendulum magician which is just like come on man like double iris not being once per turn you mean with, with electrum coming out all you need is one iris and you're gonna pretty much you're gonna be able to pop it i think at least twice so it's like jesus like you're gonna be able to search spell and trap automatically and then it's gonna it's gonna just make it's gonna spam out what's the names even they, even though they already spam it's gonna spam them out even more because the fact that electrum can just put you know astrograph into the extra deck and then you can add it back to your hand and astrograph can search another iris magician and it's it's just ooh, it's just too much it's way too much go ahead and hit it now so we don't have to deal with um them you know if you hard draw the trap you hard draw the trap you know i i can't complain about that because you hard draw it it is a card in your deck so i can't complain but the fact that you can search the spell and the trap first turn and it did like is that it's just way way too good so we definitely i feel like double iron should get banned um let me know what you guys think do you want the trap i like I, I don't want the trap card banned because without double iris there's no way to search it so I mean, there is a way to search it with Duelist Lines, but sure, if you want a Duelist Lines for a trap, that's completely fine with me. Double Iris is like literally, you're already doing your plays. It's just, you're just getting bonuses now. Because like with Duelist Alliance, you literally have to just like search the trap. With Double Iris, you can pop it using, you know, you can pop it with Ignister, which he's probably going into. Or you can, yeah, you can pop it with Ignister and get its effect. Like it's just, it just works. And I understand that's, you know, the point of it, but yeah purple poison you know how many times you got purple poison more than once a turn you know what i mean like and then black fang magician you need something in the graveyard which you're not going to have most of the time so <clears throat> i feel like double irish should just go ahead and get banned all right so as an in the limited section um i guess we can go ahead and start off with just 
Mo like Ash, Drone Lockbird, and what else did I say? Ash, Drone Lockbird. And yeah, I believe like those two need to get like need to get hit. Like Ash definitely needs to get hit because that's that's that card is just way too good. And the fact that your opponent can't like if they can't they can't fight through two. Like one, sure, you have an Ash Blossom on my first turn. That's all fine and dandy. Um, and you guys are gonna understand why I feel like Ash. You ask me first turn. That's all fine and dandy. Later, because I'm gonna just I'm gonna discuss other things I feel like should happen. But to get Ash two consecutive turns, it just you can't beat that. And the fact that you don't, it doesn't need to be like in the main phase like Valor. It doesn't have to destroy. It doesn't destroy like what's the name? Like Ghost Ogre. And uh, it's it's just Ash is just way 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 too good. It hits. I don't even know. It's like a video on YouTube. It shows, tells you how many cards Ash hits. Like Ash is so like this, like it's just stupid. It doesn't. It really doesn't make any sense. Like Ash can stop, you know, a Shuffle Reborn or something like that. It can stop an Ancient Fairy Special Summon from the hand. Like the, the it, it's just way too powerful. It's way too powerful for a, a hand trap. So I definitely think that card should definitely go to one. Uh, Drone Lockbird. Once again, we're just trying to cut down on the degeneracy of. 12 hand traps because who the hell like come on like where in the game Yu-Gi-Oh says yeah let's play 12 hand traps like 12 hand traps in the in a regular deck let's just play 12 hand traps and just and just and just beat our opponent because they can't play I feel like that's what's really getting a lot of people to stop playing is because not like you have to fight through like you gotta fight through literally 12 hand traps like I'm not even joking like but any other time it would be a joke. But you literally have to fight through 12 hand traps. Like, it's it's really unfair. And Drone Lockbird and Ash Blossom are the two of the biggest culprits because of the fact that they literally shut your your, your turn down. So it's like fighting through 12 or, or two different dimensional barriers. Like, if dimensional barrier wasn't once per turn, like it can call XYZs and then it can call like like synchros or something. I'm like, you you can't play. Like, yeah, you can go to a deco target, but like you can't go XYZ and you can't go synchros. So it's like it really just shuts you completely down. So yeah, John Locke Bird and Ash Blossom, I feel like should go to one because of, of the cards that I'm going to put up. And then another card that should definitely go to one is Reincarnation. Um, and most likely Spiral Resort because they're just trying to hit the deck so you know you don't continue to play it. Um, what you would think Konami wants to do it, but you know, they can always do something different. But yeah, I think Resort should go to one, and then also uh you know reincarnation because reincarnation is just i don't even know how to even discuss that like that that card just doesn't make any type of sense um and another card that probably should go to one is terraforming but you know it's probably not going to happen and um yeah uh as, as of anything else um i don't know really what else should go to one now cards coming off the, i'm not going to be talking about cards coming off the list i'm just going to be talking about cards in general um, because cards coming off the list, I mean, Konami just makes, they just pick and choose, so, yeah, um, for the semi-limited, I guess, if you hit hand traps, you have to give master, you have to put back mass destruction, um, oh yeah, another card that can come back is Heavy Storm, um, and the, the reason why, all mass destruction should get a bump, Heavy Storm, except for Regeki, Regeki stay at one, but, like, Heavy Storm should come back, uh, Dark Hole should probably go back to two. Torrential should go to two. The Bottomless Trap Hole should go to two. Um, a whole bunch of like destruction should go like just make all make a bump except for like Regeki. Everything else should make a bump up because if you take away hand traps, now you take away people's defenses. So you have to give them more defense. So you know, giving them two torrentials at least you can twin twister. You can heavy storm a torrential. You can heavy storm a Bottomless. You know, you can heavy storm the Pendulum Trap. But we you know what you can't heavy storm, can't heavy storm hand traps because there's no way to stop a hand trap other than another hand trap. And then like that hand, it, it's just bad. Like the only way to effectively stop a hand trap is either having mind drain flip first turn for some odd reason. I don't even know how you're going to do that, but you have to have mind drain flip first turn or you have to have a gamma. But with gamma, you can't control no cards. So then again, you're not gonna really be you can't control no monsters so you're not gonna really be able to um get rid of and stop a hand trap there's nothing to stop a hand trap now if you know you bump up you know torrential and you bump up bottomless i have twin twister i have msts i have cosmic cyclones 
Um, I also have what's the name? Let's see. Are they actually playing? Oh, they are actually playing. Um, I have so many. Uh, what's the name? Okay, well he's just going to quit. Um, I don't get that, but um, yeah, you have so many other ways to get rid of. It. And then Dark Hole going to two. Now you can counter your opponent's board when they flood the board because when Link, Links are just like Synchros because they're pretty much the same type of mechanic, but Links just takes any monsters or Synchros you needed a tuner. So with that being said, you know Synchros get you spam out multiple Links and stuff like that. And you know you get a you get a good old fashioned dark hole and you know you get your ass whipped, so that that's cool. So like you get a good old fashioned dark hole and then you just you just be all right with it. So yeah, like you know, and then that's counteracting your board or like it, cards like evenly matched shouldn't exist, but it's probably gonna have to stay to three if they do hit hand traps. Um, I personally would not. I would like to see that card banned. That's that's just personal. A uh, pick of mine, like this, this that card is just dumb. It shouldn't have been printed. But like I said, it's most likely going to stay at three because you know if they do hit hand traps, you need some way to counteract your opponent's board. Now, like I said, you can get dark hold, you can get you know, and then or you can set your torrential. So now, if you get MST, you get MST. But once again, they have to play those cards, and so when they play cards like Twin Twister or MST or stuff like that, it shuts down. Um, it makes the consistency of the deck, uh, you know, a little more funky, a little more, you know, bam, bam, bam. Now, some people may not just say, you know, they may just throw all their monsters to back rows and just try to try to win like that. But you're going to see people come back to MSTs and stuff. And then when they know that there's double bottomless, they know that there's double torrential, they know that there's double dark hole, regeki, heavy storm, that people are going to start playing a lot more slow and fast at the same time so they're not going to vomit their board first turn they're going to make a modest good board to counteract i mean they're going to make a good decent board and then they're going to you know you're going to be able to play it they may draw mst first turn so that may be a combo piece that they lose and it, it takes it back to the you know to the time when like when Synchros first came out teledad was pretty fast but you know you could end on a modest board and you set like a you set like a trap you can go like t set i mean you're not going to go t set in this format with these cards but you guys get my drift hold on let me see if i can get one more duel before we get out of here but yeah i know i'm all over the place with the uh video but yeah i mean all with the discussion at hand but yeah that's <clears throat> pretty much what i wanted to talk, talk about so to 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 what's the name to go right back over what i believe should be banned is um double irish magician uh, master plant and uh grinder golem um, what I feel like should be limited is Ash Blossom, Drone Lockbird, uh, Spiral Resort, um, Heavy Storm, and um, what else did I say? Oh, Trickstar Reincarnation. Um, and then for semi limited, Dark Hole, Torrential, Bottomless, you know, Mass Destruction cards. See, like, look, bam, he has one maxi. Now, you can you can stop because, look, this, this will basically be, you know, be the new Yu Gi Oh! You have your one maxi or you have your one hand trap that's fine i could set or i can go for game it's you know entirely up to me but it's not where you can spam your board and then there's literally dark hole and regeki and those are only two cards that can you know out a, a fully established board or something like that see look bam look that's what i'm saying this it takes it back to slow Yu Gi Oh. Now, if this is a torrential or a bottom of set, now you can, you know, you can stop your opponent's master plays, and then it goes back to, uh, look like he's just playing against it. Okay, well, um, yeah, you just play against it now. Just imagine if he just, is he Drone Lockbird? Because he's playing 15,000 hand traps. Like, just imagine you just got a Drone Lockbird. So now the Fluffle Paper literally has to end their turn because he can't do anything. He's forced to just, that's it. There's nothing else he can do. Oh, there's a good scapegoat. Now that's good. So he wants to get, but you know, he's forced to end his turn. He can't play. And then you just get OTK next turn because you don't you, I mean there's one torrential, there's one bottomless. There's there's only you no know, one of these cards. So now you're like, you know, you just stuck sitting there looking stupid because like you can't do these toy vendor plays. You can't do the fluff of wing play. Like you can get like too many hand traps is not is not good and it's not fun i don't know pretty i know i know all you guys are not having fun with 12 hand traps because it's it's really debilitating i mean that's i i can see if you have 15 back row that's fine i mean if you have five back row and they are reactive and they can all stop my summons and stuff hey 
okay yes is it going to be annoying absolutely but like i said there's a lot more options to stop to get rid of back row than there is to get rid of um hand traps because i mean there's pretty much two cards that can get rid of hand traps which is ash blossom and gamma and everything else you would have to set or you know like because even dimensional fear do doesn't even stop an ash which is uh, isn't that stupid yes exactly it's very stupid <laughs> but that that is the cause now <clears throat> this man is playing against the maxi that that would not be my choice but he him playing fluffles he can he can do it he can literally he can otk his opponent with relative ease um because he can definitely go what's the name he getting that conversation back and i feel like he is going to win but yeah that's pretty much um <clears throat> my i guess you know prediction for the uh ban list you guys let me know now we're gonna finish this off because i feel like this man is going for it um and it, it did I ain't, I ain't seen this this is once per turn right yeah i ain't seen i ain't seen this deck in a minute i did want to play this deck so uh wait are you stopping right here like you gave him what th four cards what do you know he started off what set one set two you gave him three cards you special them in three different times you stop oh there we go all right there we go no reason to stop you got to go for it now man um so i guess you can okay okay i guess i mean i i wouldn't have did it but hey you you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do jesus christ if he has regeki oh, i was about to say if he has regeki that's just unfair but yeah we're gonna finish off this duel so we're gonna see exactly what fluffles can do or if uh this cybers deck can actually do something and come back um <clears throat> but yeah yeah that is my uh prediction list i guess um so you can guys let me know what you guys think what what do you guys feel like is going to happen um what do you what do you what do you suggest to happen you know you got a list or you know something like that or you tell me my list is shitty good or whatever the case may be uh, i'm all for it you know i'm all down to here so Let's see. Yeah, this card is like a, is a one card. I think triple firewall. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, this card is a one card. Oh, he doesn't play it. This is a one card firewall. Like if he gets a tuner right now, he goes to a one card firewall, which is it. I mean, he can go one card three firewalls. Cause I think you get a tuner when you go, uh, crystal needle firewall. You get I think, you either get, um the mecha phantom beast token or you get the gofu not gofu the uh black wing tuner steam the cloak and then you do some shit with that so yeah all right so it looks like he's going oh he might be going skull deep please don't go firewall pass man i don't want to see that again i do not want to see that <clears throat> let's see if he goes firewall pass gold sark so i'm guessing this is going to be the the uh, level four cyber if you had that guy um is it lord balancer lord there it goes balancer lord so let's see what this is. i'm pretty sure this is a fusion reserve he has another backup secretary in his hand that's i know he's upset i know he's upset oh he has a number what the hell are you going into a boral load man this man has a hand on him uh damn it uh sadly he didn't get the dot scaper back uh i don't even i mean i if he plays skull deep I'm, I'm going straight into a skull deep i'm starting to just like, immediately going to a skull deep i don't know try oh no try gate okay that's actually pretty good he can actually um what oh he has a dimensional bear jesus christ just imagine if they had routed us to save links I mean, he's not, he's not, yeah, I'm pretty sure he doesn't play XYZ in his whole extra deck. Um, but I like this Fluffle deck list. I think we may, we may play this. You know what? We are going to play this next week. Along with, uh, what's the name? Along with Subterror. So, that's, look forward to that. But, so yeah, he's going to probably go these two into a Proxy Dragon, I'm guessing, right here. And then he's going to banish this one. He's going to banish this. Unless he has a way to get some cards back out of the graveyard. Um, ooh. Oh my god. He might actually. He might actually end up doing it now. Why he didn't. Oh wait. That's an earth. 
I forgot that he maxed. That's why he has so many cards in his hand. This is actually, wait, wait a minute. This is looking very, very, very similar right now. What, what's going on? Why did you do that? Uh, why did you do that? Oh my God. Why did he do that, folks? I was so excited. Okay, once per turn, if you battle, you can make that monster under to take note after that damage calculation. Ooh, you can have this card. Okay, so what he can do, since he messed that up, what he should have did was try to banish this. And then he could have went into a firewall, right? Then firewall could attack into this. Took no damage. He can actually bounce this. Yeah, he can actually get over his whole board. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he's going double firewall. He can do it. Then he can add the dot scaper back to his hand with the firewall. Oh man, he might actually, he, he should add dot scaper back. Okay, well he did that. That's 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 um, just as fine, I guess. Don't know why he just didn't give it to this. Um, wait, how many does he get? Yeah, see, if you just got rid of this, then you know they just go down to 400. I mean, and then this one would have been. 23 and you would have been able to attack over both um but I, I i guess in okay you can't kill this so forgot about that um so you should have banished this never mind you should have banished this then you could have did the same exact thing and then put this back to his hand and attacked over that yeah you would you would you would have been real good so let's see what the fluffles can do it's only gonna take one card and they can literally come back um at uh what is it called fight for fusion there we go <laughs> there we go that's all you need and he can literally come back now he, he's gonna be able to wait if your monster this card points to ooh anyway, if your monster this card points to battles so hopefully he doesn't oh wait he's gonna just pop everything never mind <laughs> I was about to say hopefully he doesn't make the mistake of uh attacking firewall first this should probably be the trap card that summons, or another scapegoat that's actually really good. That's actually going to save him. Yep, it's actually going to save him. Um, depending on his hand. I don't know, <clears throat> pretty sure Fluffles don't play anything to run over that many monsters. Why did he quit? Oh, God damn it. All right, folks, so yeah, that's it. We did get a decent duel, I guess, to end it. But yeah, man, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, once again, let me know what you guys think. What, what are you guys' uh, you know, opinions on the, the Forbidden List? We can definitely do a more, I guess, a more serious one by, by next week. If this, if it does not happen, if the ban list does not come, I'm pretty sure it's going to come out by the end of the year. But um, if it doesn't happen, we can definitely do a bigger discussion next week. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I will see you guys next week. <laughs>